What's going on YouTube? Back for build update number 13 of the Tiny Lund 64 Galaxy and have it mostly assembled at this point. Uh, there are a few parts as you can see kind of laying around the body that I do need to finish up. Uh, came back in with the polishing compound. It did smooth some of uh, the depressions out in the gloss work. However, like I've said, I, I've just come to the conclusion at this point that you know it's not going to be showroom perfect. Um, so I'm happy with it as is. So what I have left to do is I have to get the rear taillights painted in the silver um, for both sides, get those put in. I did put a small piece of styrene in here. I'll need to get that painted black uh, just to kind of um, fool the brain into thinking that, you know, it's something behind there that the fuel cap um, is attached to, which again uh, needs to get put on. Got to put the air cleaner on as that had come off in an earlier part of my build. And then get the tail lights. Uh, I've got them mostly painted. I need to paint a tiny little dollop of white um, in the center or, um, just to uh, kind of signify the reverse light that would have been there. And then that's about the extent of it. I also will be uh, hand painting the letters here on the front in chrome. And then underneath the hood, one other new technique I'm going to go ahead and try with this build is I'm going to use uh, some flocking material uh, to flock underneath the hood here. I was originally going to paint it, and I'm still kind of up in the air. I may come back and just paint it with a gray uh, to kind of signify that. And then just do a wash to kind of give it a little you know, three-dimensional look. But in either case, um, you guys will see what I do <laughs> um, at the later point. So at this point, the, well, I'll go ahead and actually set the hood down. The body is uh, screwed onto the base. So there's four screws, two in the front, two in the back. Um, so the base is finally fully attached. Granted, it is nice because it is more of a soft fit, so I could pull this thing apart uh, should I ever need or want to in the future, but um, I'm happy with the way this thing looks. I'm going to get some like final reveal photos once I've got these final few detail parts done, and then I'm probably going to buy a case just for this uh, model just because, especially like the black work, uh, which actually, thinking about, I never mentioned, I uh, used Vallejo model color black, um, which is 7950. Just brush painted that. Um, same with the engine bay, was going to take and mask it all up and try to paint it. And it's like, I I'm done. I I'm fine with the idea of brush painting. Um, and, and the nice thing about these, uh, that, that color specifically in that uh, paint, I should say, is brush painting it um it goes on really glossy however it mats out really nice and it leaves almost no brush marks so a couple of touch-up areas i can see here but um so it is a little fragile especially on this gloss coat just a simple toothpick or cocktail stick whatever you want to call it that can scratch off the paint so uh the other, that's the other reason why i'm going to get a case specifically for this one and kind of get that this thing screwed down to the, the base of that. Um, but at this point, I'm happy with how she came out. She's looking beautiful and can't wait to get um, some daylight pictures of it outside. Uh, try to capture that, you know, kind of off-white color that this thing is synonymous to be. So hope you guys have enjoyed the build series. I've got a few more build series coming up here with a dual monster truck build uh, that you might have seen me posting videos on. Um, as I mentioned in my channel update, next year is going to be a bit of a holidays or seasonal year. Uh, so we'll have some Indy cars coming up for the month of May um, with the Indy 500 to kind of signify that. And then I've got a, a build planned for 4th of July and then a few builds for Halloween, uh, one or two for Christmas. So uh, definitely stick around for those and whatever the future may hold. So hope you guys have been enjoying it. Again, if you have any questions or comments, definitely post down below. Click share, subscribe, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And, you know, if, if you know of anybody else who's interested in these type of videos and you want to share it, definitely feel free to share out the, the links to the videos. And that way we can get people uh, on the channel and just kind of converse as a community. So uh, until next time, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I'll see you later.